Look at you choosing the best YouTube channel with the highest quality content available. Hi pals, thanks for coming back, and hello casual YouTube viewer that somehow stumbled upon this channel. I am SB Mitch. You can interact with me on social media here. I also have a website where you can find all these items in this box, and also a smorgasbord of other things. We're about to open a beater box that's right next to me. You can't see it, but it's here. This is a beater box from Soul Supremacy, which is a sneaker shop in the Bay Area of California that has a membership only beater box program that allows myself and a couple other people to buy beater boxes for a monthly fee. Currently memberships are closed. I don't know if they're gonna open them again, but my advice to you is to follow them on Twitter and turn on post notifications because that's the only way you're pretty much gonna have any chance to get a membership if you're interested. This box today costs $950 plus $40 to ship it here to Philly Philly. Good timing. <laughs> For a grand total of $990. So just a, a, hair, a hair tinch under a grand, which is not a word. They price these boxes under market, so there's a really good opportunity to make some money. But stick around till the end either way, because I'm gonna break it down to show you the market value versus how much I actually paid for the box. But to get to that point, we gotta open it and see what's in here first. There is nothing like a fresh razor on a box cutter. Now, before we get started, I wanna introduce to you my good friend and four-time Cable Ace Award nominee, Clarence. This superstar is gonna show you the market value of each shoe as I pull it out based on data collected from GOAT, StockX, eBay, Flight Club, and keep a tally of everything all together so you can see how much the box is worth at the end of the video. So, box is open. There is one pair of loose shoes in here. I'm gonna grab it out. It is a size 11 and a half pair of Sixes, these are, they're not infrared sixes, they're like, I think it's just like a bread six, like varsity red black six. The entire upper is this really, ooh, it feels really nice too. <laughs> it's this really, really low pile suede, and it's in really good shape. I don't know if you guys can see it there. But these are worn, size 11 and a half. You can see there's some discoloration and some wear on the bottoms, easily cleanable. Nope. There's the uh, lace lock, which is good. I mean, they're in pretty good shape, probably solid seven out of 10 condition. So no box, that's kind of a bummer, but this is a pretty simple colorway. There's a little bit of paint stuff going on here, but for a shoe that came out in what? 2010, 2011, 2010, I think. It's gonna happen, so size 11 and a half, Jordan 6, Varsity Red Black is the first shoe out. Now, if you're interested in that shoe or any of the other shoes that are in this video, like I said before, they're gonna be on my website, which you can find the link to down below. And if it's not on the website, that means it's either sold or it's just not up yet. So contact me through the website if you wanna get in on it. Next out is a Jordan 5 Retro size 10. No, it is not. Ooh. I think these are the white flips or just like an elephant print white. Jordan 3. Uh, the lighting in here is not gonna show you, but these shoes are pretty beat. A lot of toe box creasing. There's a lot of discoloration. The bottoms are, I mean, there's barely any stars left. Uh, the discoloration on the heel tab. Yeah, this is uh, this is definitely the definition of a beater. I'm gonna clean them up and see what I can do with them, but I can't imagine they'll go for much, so. There's your second shoe out in a replacement box. Jordan 3 flip or Jordan 3 white elephant or white cement, maybe, I don't really know. Good to get that stuff out of the way first, I guess. A lot of orange boxes in here. This first orange box is a Nike Free Run Plus 2, size nine and a half. And that's exactly what it is. It's a basic, probably worn once. This is a black colorway with a white midsole. Uh, it's actually pretty clean, not gonna lie. It's really lightweight. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. Like, can you feel how lightweight it is? Technology has come such a long way. The insole looks like, kind of like Slimer, maybe, I guess, I don't really know. Kind of neat though, uh, but it's a very simple colorway and a lightweight shoe runner. If you're into being healthy, I guess. I am not, so I wear shoes made of pizza. Size nine and a half, Nike Free Run Plus Two. Let's grab a red Nike box. Ugh. So this is a size nine and a half, Nike Roshi Run GPX Premium. Ooh. I remember the days when Roshi runs were a big deal. That is not the case anymore. I actually know these, holy cow. Okay, so this is a size nine and a half pair of the Roshi Run Premium. This is actually called geometric or like geometry or something like that because it's got all these shapes all over it. 
which is kind of a cool concept because the, the shoe really pops on your feet. Very lightly worn, a little bit of wear on the bottoms. Um, you can't really say there's creasing or not because it's a knit upper almost, canvas upper. But again, a really lightweight running shoe, size nine and a half, pretty neutral colorway, just a little bit out there, but there you go with the original box. Um, let's grab this one here. It's a countdown pack box. This is a size eight and a half Jordan Collezione, which is Italian for collection, I found out. It says it's either a six or a 16 or a seven. If it's a seven, it's a hair seven. It is not, it's the 16s. I actually really like 16s. I don't have any for myself, but 16s are pretty cool. It's the bread colorway of the Air Jordan 16 and the countdown pack. Very lightly worn, discoloration on the bottom, which is gonna happen because these shoes came out in 2008, so about 11 years ago. Definitely still wearable. Yeah, these are in really good shape for being 11 years old. It does have the capes or whatever you call it. I mean, I really like the shoe. The pack itself is not really worth a whole bunch. Eh, maybe like a buck 50, 200 bucks out of here. I don't really know, but size eight and a half is a good size, and you can see there's like, for a patent leather toe box, there's barely any creasing on here, which is kind of cool, so. Size eight and a half, Jordan 16 countdown pack with the original half box. A lot of these high ticket boxes are like a bunch of not great shoes and then one money shoe. So hopefully, ooh, hopefully it's a good money shoe because it's definitely feeling like it's a bunch of, I hate using this term, but it's a bunch of, a bunch of bricks and then one good shoe. Let's, let's stay on the Jordans though. This is an Air Jordan 1 size nine. It's actually not bad. Okay, this is the Yin Yang ones. Oh, and uh, here they are. It's a simple black colorway with a white midsole, but there is some pretty heavy heel drag going on here on both of them actually. So that will definitely affect the value. It's a simple clean colorway. These came out pretty recently too. I wanna to say like 2014 maybe. Definitely not gonna be getting much money out of these, but it's a pretty simple colorway. There's, no, there's a little bit of star loss on the front. I don't understand how people walk like this, like dragging their heels. I, it just doesn't make sense to me, but eh, who am I to judge? I probably walk wrong. Size nine is a good size, but these are pretty beat up. So double-edged sword. This box makes me really nervous. So we got three more in here. At least there's a lot of shoes in here. That's pretty cool. Next up, this is a, it's a box with some kind of weird tag on it. I don't really know what to make of this. I'm not gonna show you. It does, does it have the size on here? It is size nine and a half, so that's good. This is another Nike Free Run Plus. It's like a really bright colorway. It's not quite Volt, but it's like a greenish colorway. Get a better look at it if it's back further. Uh, I don't hate the colorway, I'm not gonna lie. It's size nine and a half, really lightly worn, just like the other Free Run too. Probably came from the same seller, but it's a simple, light runner. Meh, what are you gonna do? Size nine and a half, very lightly worn. Can't imagine there's too much value there. Fr Nike Free Run plus two, right? Oh boy, I've got two more in here. This is another Jordan one, size eight. Okay, I thought these were gonna be Gatorade ones. They are not. This is an AJKO, the shadow version. What an AJKO is, is a Jordan 1 that's canvas upper. I mean, there's leather on the ankle here, but most of the shoe is canvas, which I mean is kind of cool. It's a really conceptual shoe. These released, I wanna say like in the mid 2010s, and they were not met with a lot of positive response, but it's a, it's a simple colorway. It's like a discount shadow, I guess, so definitely not much value here. Good size, lightly worn, AJKO shadow, size eight and there's one more in here and it's probably the money shoe and it could go either one of two ways this is a easy boost 350 v1 it's a size nine so it's a good size it's probably like a moon rock or a pirate black or something <laughs> Whoa! okay yeah definitely not a pirate black or a moon rock i mean they're worn but barely this is a pair of the easy v1 turtle dove wow it's pretty surprising to get something like this in a $900 box. I mean, these still go for like, I think dead stock, they still go for like 1500 bucks. You can see they're worn on the bottom, but the boost has very little discoloration. I don't know if it's gonna pick it up. It might be too bright with the lights. But yeah, this is a really good size and a really good shoe. This is in phenomenal shape. Like you can still see the writing on the insole. I'm not gonna show you because it's black on black, so it's hard to see, but these are in really, really good shape. That's definitely a good money shoe. Big fan of that, happy with that. So size nine, Turtle Dove Yeezy V1s. It's even got the original receipt from Bows and Arrows. And that's the box. There's a lot of shoes in this box. Let's go ahead and give it a grade. So we're gonna go ahead and give this grade a box through three categories. Condition, sizes, and hype slash value because a shoe with no hype has no value. Let's do condition first. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine shoes in this $950 Soul Supremacy beater box. Big ol' goose egg. That's how many are dead stock. So condition on this box, D 
sizes. So we have 11 and a half, nine and a half, eight and a half, nine, nine and a half, nine and a half, nine and a half, nine, and eight. I didn't really think about it until I went through those, but these are all really, really good sizes, like easy to move sizes. So sizes on this box, kind of got to give it an A minus. Hype slash value. Let's not kid ourselves. All the hype and value is in those turtle doves. Hype slash value on this box, we'll give it a B. So with the grade of D for condition, the grade of A minus for sizes, and the grade of B for hype slash value, this $950 Soul Supremacy Beater Box gets a grade of B minus in the SB Mitch Report card. <laughs> So I went ahead and graded out this box as a B minus, but is there money to be made? Let's ask MC Hammer. Break it down. So I mean like these these higher ticket boxes are either like are a lot of really really decent shoes or one really good shoe and a bunch of weird ones. I think this box was the latter. I don't mean latter, I mean latter. Sorry. Couple quick things. Brick 66 is going on right now on my eBay page. It ends in 2 days on Sunday night. Be sure to get your bids in. Good chance to get some stuff under market and help me move some things for cheap. So my eBay link is down below in the video description. Also, we are pretty close to 5,000 subscribers. Let me see. I don't know how many subscribers I have right now. As of right now, we have 4,831 pals. Let's get to 5,000 so I can do an awesome giveaway. I would love to give you guys something cool because you deserve it for putting up with me. And again, all these shoes will be available today on ransomnotesneakers.com unless they've sold on GOAT because they're not selling on StockX because none of them are dead stock. I have another box hanging out over in the corner, which I'm looking at right now. It is worth $1,000. We will be opening it early next week. So hop back for that. And I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. So till next time, take care of each other. And remember, if you're not having fun doing it, find something you love doing and do that because that's the easiest way to be happy. And why not be happy? You bet you're happy this video is ending right now. <laughs>